So, this is iteration 89 of the nematode simulation. 302 neurons mapped. Nurture data tracked from moment of first cell division. Beautiful. Okay, synchronize. Synchronizing. In three, two, one, go. Overlay, please. Here comes overlay. Whoa. That's impressive. Thank you. And at this moment, there's no sensor-based connection between the nematode and the simulation? Nothing at all from this point of synchronization. This is movement initiated by the map neurons and the nurture data, that's all. In which case, you can demonstrate that with a future projection? Absolutely. 10 seconds. Yes. Jen? Projected movement loop, 10 seconds into the future. So that's five, four, three, Two, one. <laughs> so, right in front of my eyes, you just predicted the exact behavior of a living organism 10 seconds into the future. The simplest organism we could find, but yes, we did. I love it. Okay, and so about 30 seconds from the moment we synchronize, we start to lose correlation. 30 seconds. Thereabouts. <clears throat> Why do you think that is? It's sheer complexity. The numbers we're crunching go insane. As in, truly insane. Or? It's a quantum type problem. Somewhere in the multiverse, there's a world where the two stay in sync. But it's not this one. Not a fan of the multiverse theory. I'd go with the former. <laughs> 